Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. We are back once more, of course, and I don't know. I don't know who to play as. I, I think I'm going to go as the Afflicted just because he's a fun fella and I haven't played as him in a long while. Like a really long time since I last played as this dude. Um, we're not playing any alternate modes, but I will go and cheat <laughs> and spend my hegemony credits to get some extra to start with. I kind of like doing this just because even though it does make you more powerful, it just starts you with some more interesting stuff and I find that fun. We have had to disable a mod. Unfortunately, um, Unstable Strafe Cells mod um, has been disabled just because there's potentially some issues that's been causing some uh, crashes with it. It's unknown if that's the exact cause right now, but at the minute the mod is it's their best guess. So we'll, we'll, we'll see if anything happens this run. Hopefully it doesn't and we'll have a, a final dandy old time. Cool. Right. Let's have a little look see what we've got going on then. So of course, as this guy permanently increased damage at the cost of a full heart, become more potent with curse. Very, very nice. Um, we also have... Uh, when unarmored, gain great power at a cost, a curse that slowly turns its bearer into a terrible beast. Uh, many tried to contain it, but misled by the whispers, uh, promise them, promising them strength. All of them eventually succumbed to the temptation. Very interesting. We also started off with the Scroll of Approximate Knowledge, which will basically vaguely describe the contents of chests. And we also got the Average Jur. Shots from this gun deal damage equal to the average damage per bullet of each gun in the owner's arsenal. That's really interesting. That seems really cool. So for right now, it's not great. I really should have taken the curse there, to be honest. Uh, we'll do this once to gain some damage. But yeah, so far this gun seems pretty good with the weapons we have right now. It seems to be doing decent damage. I might want to even save it for my boss. This guy does start with a fairly mediocre but not terrible starting weapon. The Ornate Pistol, which is essentially a three-round dueling pistol. Also, something you might notice too is we are no longer playing on turbo mode. It does slow the game down a little bit, but honestly, I was just finding that because of because I wasn't playing the game enough, I wasn't getting used to turbo mode. Ooh, dude, I did not realize there was an enemy on me then. Um... And I was just having a pretty terrible time um, and dying quite a lot. And I feel like that's less fun for you guys to watch. So now here we are with me actually being able to play the game somewhat, somewhat reasonably. But yeah, this this, this gun's pretty good. Um, take that for the average Joe. So while we've got our mask off here, um, while we've not got any armor... We do gain some increased on uh, increased stats, and we also gain quite a lot of curse. As you can see, we're up to um, four curse now. So we have to be careful about managing our curse. We have to basically remember that taking um, taking curse while we've got a helmet on is different to taking it while we have it off. Because imagine we get to nine curse, or even like seven curse, and then we lose our armor, and it gives us another three curse, and a lot of the gem spawns. So you got to be careful. Oh my god, that is a big boy. And at that exact moment that he spawned, I had a really bad nose itch. I like the way the puffs of smoke off of this guy are also scaled up in size. I didn't realize that would be the case. Oh, see, I just walked directly into him there because his hitbox is fucking massive. My god, okay. There's a good chance I do also die now. Here here and now on this run. Um, just because I'm a goddamn goober. There's a good chance I die, but I'll try not to. I'll try not to. Is that... That guy's jammed. He doesn't look jammed, but he is. That other guy died to fire, too. Let's hope we can get some health here. Uh, brown chest is a little bit upsetting. I'll be honest. It's a little bit upsetting. I think I ought to be using this gun for these guys. You biggest of boy. Honestly, some of these weaker enemies we might just want to use this gun for anyways. It kills so fast. And honestly, I clearly need help. I'm clearly not good at this game anymore. Blank there. What the hell is this? The Moon Rock. I remember the Moon Rock being pretty good. I, I kind of want it. But also, a key is tempting. We'll see if we get a key bullockkin here. I'm just going to move the back of my chair up a little bit. There you go. 
But yeah, let's hope I don't die. I don't know why, but I'm really satisfied by the fire rate of this weapon. It, it feels very, I don't know, rhythmic. It feels right. Um, well, there is a room here, but I'm assuming it's the room that's connected to this one and not a secret room. It'd be weird if I could see the secret room. Also, this ammo here hasn't been stolen, so I'm going to leave that on the floor for now until we uh, clear out this floor. Good. Oh my god, it killed that guy so fast. Right. Yeah, being able to have ammo on the floor just there is lovely. But yeah, at the minute, I've been truly enjoying a bit of modded Gungeon. I've been really enjoying upping the amount of episodes per week, and I, I really hope you guys have as well, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to gamble, and I think I'm going to go do the boss without taking the ammo and without buying any HP. I have three blanks. In theory, that should be enough for me to be able to flawless. But I'll be honest, I, I actually can't guarantee that I will. It's It's been a little while since I was good at this game, so you're going to have to forgive me. I'm, I am wondering how this gun's damage profile is going to change over time. It's going to be interesting to see, definitely. Certainly interesting to see how it changes. I didn't really need to blank there, but I just kind of felt like it was better to. There you go. Okay, we managed to do that. Very nice. Very good. We did get a portal as well. I'm honestly actually not interested in the results of that so far here. Grab that. I do see that that's a mimic as well. Do not worry. For those of you thinking Turtle's going to be an idiot again, don't worry. I'll be an idiot later. Not quite yet. And then here we get um, some interesting stuff, actually. Um... We get two planet side things, I think. Uh, no, this is from the reference collection. So, here we got the petrifier. Crude yet powerful fires a burst of fast bolts, a primitive form of the railgun designed, de designed by the insane and um, patented by the irrational. I like that. Um, and then, better than the snow fox grey, the second generation of the snow fox. Not too strong. Quality D. This gun is in shitty quality. Okay. Um... Will our scroll of approximate knowledge give us much info about this? So that, that's an item. That's a gun. We kind of knew that already, but... Um, right. We did get a lot of keys out of that, so I think... I'm not quite sure here. Um, I think we want to buy this for one, because we got enough. I think this makes us fire little fragments of moon. Uh, small chunks of space to breathe to orbit your shot. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Um, then I think we go... Hmm. I don't know. I might just destroy both of these chests, you know? And save my uh, save my keys for the next floor. Right. Let's go to the... Um, let's go to the beach each. Uh, no, let's not. Let's go to... The alt floor here. Make our way over to this room. Just be careful of our barrels. Honestly, with the moon rocks, this gun seems real good. Like, like actually insanely good. <laughs> um, so we do that, then that. Then that. Nope, nope. There you go. We got it in the end. Yeah, with the moon rocks, this thing seems busted good. Wait for the fire to, to dissipate. And we get down there. Now that there's a really solid reason to go to this extra floor, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Hopefully we can get some way of generating some HP as this guy so we can use the Beast Blood Injection a little more often. I really like using that so that we can gain a bit more damage as much as possible. Any excess HP is uh, basically useful to us regardless. But getting some way of generating HP is the true power of this character. If we can find a way to actually make it so that we can constantly use that and constantly do that, it's going to be real good shit. It's going to be real good shit. I don't know if you can hear my chair arms clicking there. I was moving them out of the way, but... Anyways, 
Honestly, this gun, this gun is in the shitty tier. It's meant to be weak. I'm not sure if it's the moon orbitals that are making it so good, but it is shredding right now. Also, the moon orbitals seem to be a little bit, little fragments seem to be a little bit glitched and seem to be freezing in midair. It's, it's kind of hard to notice them. Oh, they still deal damage. Interesting. Maybe they're meant to do that then? That might, that might be on purpose. If they're still dealing damage. I don't know. Never named will be able to tell you. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. This gun just breaks things. Maybe? Or does the item break things? It's one of these situations. Okay, um, let's put that away for now. Okay. Um, things have become balked. I'm not sure if it's this item doing it or not. But things have become askew. Yeah, we don't, we don't really know what's going on anymore, do we? Ow. I don't know what hit me there. Am I able to kill things in this room? Can you console command kill stuff? Kill. I don't know. Right, come come over here into all these shots. I realize I'm gonna take some damage doing this, but you're not gonna move now, are you? Oh, you are. Good, good. Okay, he's dead. Good. Hmm. gonna quickly destroy all your bullets right here. Darn. <laughs> Even like like jamming my gun into these guys is causing issues. Hmm. There's so many more enemies left in here. I don't know what's happening, I'll be honest. This is a cool run, so I don't want to give it up. Why am I so easily breaking the game? What's going on here? Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. I don't know if there's a way that I can fix this. Like, there might be. Maybe. But there's, like, no way that I can get out, also. Oh, that door animation. Look at that. Watch, watch this door. Oh, the snake going through it. It's just majestic. Right, yeah, I don't really know what to do here. I don't think there's a way that I can get out of this without dying. Because these enemies seem to not be able to die regardless of what I do. Isn't great. Unless... <gasps> okay. Some of them were being able to kill. I don't know why only some of them. Some of them were able to kill. Oh, that one died as well. Okay, 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 okay. There's, there's ways of doing this. Huzzah! Right. Now I have to figure something out. Right. No, 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 pause the game when I'm in this menu, please. Why would you do this? I don't know, I fired again. Bollocks. Um, right. Back to this again. I realize you're eager to not die, but if you could die, please. Right. I need to see if it's this item that's causing it. I, I honestly don't know. I don't think it is. 
Right, we gotta go into another room. So these guys are immune to fire, which presents a problem. It sounds like I'm doing damage when I do this. Well, I don't know if I actually am. Damn it. Okay. A new challenger approaches. Um. Uh, what's this item called? Moon rock. It is literally just called moon rock. I don't know what else could be causing this. Maybe it's this? I don't see why it would be, though. God damn you. I can't even roll damage them. Truly a mystery. Um, maybe if I do set stage jungle? Is it not set stage? What's, what's the thing? What's the command? Is it load level? Jungle. Load level keep. Okay. It's doing something. It's trying to load something. Okay. We've either broken the game hilariously or we've fixed it. We need to try and figure out what caused that error. I have a feeling it's moon rock. Just because it's the last thing I picked up before it started breaking. But it might not be. So, let's remember the name. We'll add it back in later. But let's let's leave Moonrock on the floor for now. Nope, it's still broken. Okay. Let's restart. Don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I apologize to everyone. I like keeping stuff like that in the videos, though. Because I could just restart the episode now, but I feel like I, I, it's worth keeping that in the video because it's, like, good footage for the people that make the mods to be like, ah, this is what could have caused it, sort of thing. Um, let's, let's talk to this guy and see. What the hell is that? Um, what do you want? Chance to drop your gun on firing. Oh, God. I will take it. It is the heat sink. Um, portable microwave can supercharge a localized space with superheated particles and cause them to go boom. That is so fucking cool. This might be my favorite gun ever. Holy shit. That. Oh my god. I love this gun. Holy hell. This gun is a lot of fun. Wow. I. I'm outstanding. This is just. Oh my god. I cannot gush enough about how much I love this weapon. That is so fun to use, and like, the more ammo you use, the further away you can use it, as well as the larger the explosion you can generate. Really cool. Oh, that is... That is just premium. I absolutely love this. Wow. How have I not seen this weapon before? Bunny, you magnificent bastard. Bunny does a lot of cool shit. This is the coolest. I was expecting it to just be like a heat gun. Like, I didn't expect it to be like this sort of thing. Whatever this magnificent bastard is. Okay, nice. I like the way you can kind of get up close and personal to, to like 
use it for single target, but also to just, like, use less ammo. It seems, like, reasonably ammo efficient without being crazy as well. Like, it's definitely get going through ammo fairly quick, but it's, like, it's killing so much stuff for the amount of ammo it's using, so... Ow. Good shot, my good sir. Lamulet. Previously known as the gunpowder amulet, this amulet is worn after thousands of explosions. Luckily, there is still some gunpowder inside. I'm guessing it's just that I explode whenever I uh, get uh, do a blank effect. Ow. Yes, ammo. Feed me. Feed me. Right. I like the way you can use it through walls, too. I'm just gonna boop. Oh, no, I can't. It's not quite through walls, but it kind of is. You can use it through walls in certain angles. It doesn't go straight through walls, but you can abuse it a little bit. Not really worth using ammo on those guys, is it? Oh my god, that's so fun. Ah! Fucking rolled over a table and that bitch still hit me. It also, like, blanks because it's an explosion, too. Really nice. Elephant shotgun's probably a little better for us to use from room to room here. Ah, there you go. It got it got thrown. And again. I wonder how common of an occurrence that's gonna be. I like the way it throws it at them, though. If it, although, I swear to God, if it throws it into a pit, I will, I will be very angry. <laughs> if I end up throwing a gun into a pit, that will be, that will have crossed the line for me. Cronenberg bullets, yes. Lovely Cronenberg bullets. Boss rooms here. We also got um, this fella. Oh, more explosives. I would love explosive rounds right now. Crown of War also sounds interesting. But I would really love explosive bullets right about now. It seems like I can't drop this thing. Or at least if I can, it's a very low chance. It might be because it's a beam weapon and it technically fires multiple times per second. So it was too difficult to make work. So they just have beam weapons be exempt, which would make a lot of sense, to be honest. That's how I'd do it. Damn. Very fun weapon. Very fun weapon. And it's revolver. Twenty five each, unfortunately. And we ain't affording that anytime soon either. Ooh, although. You fool! <laughs> you fool! You fool! You idiot! <laughs> you sold me the tools that let me st steal from you. It's so funny that it's like 
Here, would you like to buy this decoy? Yes, I would. Here's 45 casings. Places decoy that she just bought, that, that I've just bought right in front of her. And it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, nothing. Don't you worry about that. One good thing, actually, about the throwing weapons, as long as it doesn't throw them into pits, this is, is that a thrown weapon is reloaded automatically, so... You have the benefit of it auto-reloading for you, which is kind of nice, especially on longer reload weapons. Obviously, it, it, it kind of is dependent on where it ends up being thrown to how useful that ends up being. Like, this wasn't super useful, but there you go. We've Cronenberg something there. God damn, it seems to like throwing things quite a lot. Oh my god, it's like every second thing. What we need is uh, like a, a, a diamond ring or something, diamond bracelet that allows us to like return to send or anything we throw. <laughs> you can fire this thing so fast, it's great. Straight back to more ammo, thank you. Try this pistol out for a little bit. With the explosive bullets. Oh, it Cronenbegged it straight away. I don't really remember how this, this weapon works. I should probably go and look that up. Um, the thrill of landing a perfect shot is seeked out by many gunslinger, uh, with some devoting their lives to landing their swan song shot. Don't waste your chance when your high noon comes. I don't entirely know. When things start glowing, I can do things, I guess. I wonder if I can throw the ornate pistol. That would be interesting to figure out. I do not like the ridiculously egregious amounts of fire everywhere. It does work with Cronenberg bullets though, that's good to know. Doesn't seem like I can throw it so far, does it? But all of them are glowing. Can't really figure it out. Oh no! I, th I threw my gun onto the island. Pretty funny. Really shouldn't be using any gun that I can throw in rooms like this. It's just waging a war against myself really, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, I think this chest has had its last breath there. Let's grab some curse. Just to spice things up a little bit, why not? Let's also buy a key from in here, shall we? We don't have to have the same fate with our next chest. Because that was a little bit depressing to witness. Oh, hello there. Oh, it happened then. I got the shot, and and I got it then as well. I, I don't really know how I'm how I'm triggering it. I'll be honest. It happened again. Honestly, maybe it's the last bullet in the magazine or something. Wow, I like the way that we have the Ember Cannon and the heat sink, which are two kind of similar, I wouldn't say similar looking, but similar styling of weapons. What does this do again? Let's find out in the middle of this room. 
Okay, this one fires out the little ember shots. That can be interesting. Heat sink is the way to go here, though. Ah, oh, bugger, I got hit. Kind of bound to happen with a stupid boss though. This boss is actually kind of hard to kill with this gun, to be honest. Having a hard time. It's not really doing all that much damage to him. Don't get all speedy speedy on me, you little shithead. Come on. Taking way too long. How are you not dead yet? Does this thing just like not do damage sometimes? What the fuck is this? I killed it with a gun throw in the end. That's... That's a lot of armor. Honey, where is my super suit? It's a power suit, but you get the reference. Right. Let's get gone. This has been an interesting episode so far. First of all, I broke everything, which is basically just standard for me at this point. Let's carry on, shall we? And honestly, this downside, it's annoying, but it's not, it's not been that bad so far. It, it is maybe a little too common, I'll be honest. Potentially annoying room there dealt with. You stay out of that car, you. Extra keys is always nice too. Um, I did throw my shotgun there. Okay, there it is. Couldn't quite figure out where it was. Oh my god. That's a lot of mushroom enemies. There really should be a little bit more of a highlight on throw, like dropped guns, in my opinion, with stuff like this, considering how easy it is to lose them. They just get like stuck in walls and stuff. It'd be nice if, um... You know what, I'll take that. It'd be nice if the way that it worked is that, like, there'd be a more glowing highlight or like an arrow pointing towards your dropped stuff. That would definitely lower frustrations. Good, good. I really want some stink buffs throwing guns now. This this curse could be pretty funny with that. Plus if bullets isn't going off very often, sadly. God damn, I'm just throwing so much stuff instantly. That shotgun very nearly just got completely hidden under that wall there. Oh no, it happened. I just threw my shotgun straight into the pit there. My aim assist like, like sort of wavered for a minute and I aimed directly at the pit and threw it straight in the pit. It was bound to happen at some point. I have to just live with it. I can't 
can't remember what any of these do. Terracotta Persian, I'll give a go. I should have read what she was saying. She tells you what it does. Persian made of dirt and anger that leaves a bitter taste in your mouth forever and hardens your heart of to... Ha forever and hardens your heart to what I see. Um, gain temporary shield. Each room can no longer heal. Eh, that's actually not bad. We have plenty of shields. Also, interesting weaponry here. I would very much like the HM Auto Cannon. That would be fun. It's 90 something though, so it's going to be a while till we get that. The biggest downside of not being able to heal, really, at the end of the day, is that we can no longer use our Beast Blood Injection. That's the biggest downside. I wonder how it deals with things that automatically heal you. Like, um, Blood Brooch and stuff. The holster. Yeah, so you see we get these little shields that go around us here. Um, these little shields, uh, we get them, like, every room. They're there to sort of protect us as our reward for not being healed. They do also um, mini blank as well at my request because uh, I saw that Alexa got it in his first episode and I was a little surprised at how fragile they were. Um, but now they they are still fairly fragile, but they also provide a mini blank too. So they've actually got some offensive capabilities um, with different amulets. And we do have an explosive amulet, so it might, might be working for that. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but... It'll do something for certain. Damn it, I was hoping you'd spawn in just in time to die there, but apparently not. Blank personality. A oh, blank stare, even, sorry. Blank stare. Um. Your newfound personality will sometimes make shopkeepers give you blanks um, just to make you go away and stop staring. Interesting. Wanna give me some blanks? Right, anyways, it's boss time. It's Cannon Balrog. So yeah, we got these shields, but... The thing is, the problem I had with it is it's a, it's a cool idea for, like, no healing, but you get these shields. But in boss fights like this, I'm not getting any more shields, and they all got wiped out, like, real fast. And that can just happen sometimes. Oh, I've got one of those uh, weapons that can deal damage to him while he's underground. There's a few weapons that can still deal damage to him while he's underground, so... If you realise you have one of those, take advantage. You can't kill him while he's under there, though. Even if you do enough damage to kill him. Very bad hit by me, there. Like, look, he's, he's literally dead now, but I can't kill him. Sadly so, I cannot kill. There you go. We can still pick up armor. Health doesn't do anything for us. And we get whatever this thing is. Interesting, I guess. Weapon-wise, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be affording this, which is a real big upset for me. But in lieu of that, I will buy whatever this is. Press reload or shoot while reloading to attempt to parry. Successfully parrying a bullet will instantly reload the weapon. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I like uh, the way that that sounds. Uh. I like it a lot. Having uh, some friends over tomorrow, so I'm just reading through our plans that we've got. We're doing, th th honestly, on the docket, some primo, primo plans. 
So they're coming over tomorrow. So... They're coming like midday, so they're gonna go explore around town centre, because I've still got work. Oh god. It's the man's face. It's here to haunt my dreams. Brilliant room design. Just fantastic room design by Apache. Damn it! I've got to press reload while reloading. Shit, I just tried to reload. The big dumb has been had. So the gun naturally has a really long reload time. Interesting. Really cool weapon. I also like the sound that you used for this gun. Sounds really good. It's, I will say, not your fault. It's very hard to use on controller because if I want to prematurely reload, I have to take my finger off of the analog stick and then I, so if I want to reload while reloading, I, I, I can't aim where I want to look. So it's a little, inco little inconvenient to use on controller, but that's not something that I believe you have to bother fixing. It's only me and a few of the plebs that use controller. I, I could also just remap my reload key to something else on my controller. That would also work. Um, I haven't really used this thing much at all. Mainly because it likes to throw it every time I fire it. It has, it has literally thrown it every time I've fired it so far. Okay. It apparently just does that. Also, it's able to hurt me for some reason. Not quite sure why that's the case, but... Okay. It's multiple times I've been hurt by that thing now. Which is a little depressing. You alright? Do you want to get off me? I like the way you can kind of drag it around. Like, if I just hold it, you can kind of, like, drag it around. That's pretty cool. Let's get extra money there. One of these fellas. I'll do it. Why not? Boom. Um, I managed to throw the gun. And now it's only got one ammo. Well, that was... Okay, um... I have been softlocked. Kind of. Hmm. Is there any way I can cheese this? I realise I'm going to throw this straight into the pit. Yeah, that, that one definitely got thrown into the pit. Okay, um... Well. That happened. Ow. Am I immune to fire? When did that happen? Yeah, this is the real power of the terracotta pot, though. Now we just have a ton of shields around us. But you need a ton of shields to be able to actually survive the bosses, so it's kind of fair. Oh, look, it's health. I wish we could use it. I I haven't done any damage to the thing yet. What the hell? Ow. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm forgetting how this guy works. Shit! Oh my goodness. 
He just fucking annihilated me. I was not ready. I was not ready at all. Anyways, that was a very fun run, despite the, the rocky start. Pretty weird stuff happened that run. We got some interesting stuff going on, but yeah. Really cool weapon from Bunny there. Some really good stuff. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.